Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today, I have a video for you guys that I'm pretty excited to be sharing with you. I have a new pencil sharpener. So this will be a review video of that pencil sharpener. Plus, I will be sharing with you all of my pencil sharpeners and what I think and pros and the cons and what I've learned through my research. Guys, I think I'm going through a new uh, fetish or phase or something, you know, <laughs> we all go through that in our hobbies. And I think I'm on a pencil sharpener kick right now, but I'm always trying to find budget friendly products, but the best of the best of the budget. <laughs> yes, guys. So today's video will be showcasing one of the items that you saw in my last Happy Mail haul. It is this pencil sharpener by Stadler. And it is the metal pencil sharpener with the double holes. So this is how it looks and it has the 8.2 through 11 millimeter holes, the double holes at the top. So here's the back with the SKU number, just in case you want to find this specific one. It says it's premium quality, double hole pencil sharpener with plastic shavings container, double hole metal sharpener for standard and thick pencil diameters up to 11 millimeter guaranteed against manufacturer's defects. So guys, this pencil sharpener is made in Germany, which I am very, very happy to hear because most of my German made pencil sharpeners have really good blades and they sharpen pretty well. But the only thing about um, the Stadler pencil sharpeners is there were a couple more different types, like different models that were also in the store along with this one. And I will show you the pictures of those also. Uh, let's see, two of them were actually made in Germany. I mean, not made in Germany, I'm sorry, made in China. The back of it said uh, made in China. And I was like, oh man, what, what is up with this? And then this one was actually made in Germany. So. While I was in the store, I looked up a YouTube review of this one that I will show you a picture of because I was just trying to see which one should I get? I couldn't decide. And the quick little review that I saw, the guy wanted to blow the pencil sharpener up. <laughs> he had a little bomb on the bottom of the picture and he wanted to light the fuse to the pencil sharpener. He was like, this is a horrible pencil sharpener. And when he was sharpening the pencil, it kind of reminded me of the type of pencil uh, lead or the type of tip that I would get with one of my favorite pencil sharpeners that I recently was like, oh my goodness, this is a great pencil sharpener. And I was like, oh my goodness, wait a minute. So that's not good. I was confused. So I've been doing some research and trying to figure out, you know, what's the best of the best. I know a lot of people have the M&R sharpeners and they are great. They rave over them. And hey, I, I don't doubt it because when I see people on videos sharpening their pencils with the M&R sharpeners, I'm like, huh, that is pure point beauty. <laughs> so guys, yes, I tried this pencil sharpener and oh my goodness, I had to go back and get a second one. I mean, it just, it blew me away. So I'm still learning. I'm still figuring out what's a good pencil sharpener. You know, you, you think you have the best until you find something better. 
<laughs> so, but what you have that you think is the best serves the purpose for the moment, right? Right. So this one, I got at an amazing deal because I got it at a closeout store. Um, and hey, uh, I don't know if you can probably find this at Walmart or like, like an art store or something, but I think Walmart used to sell them and maybe they discontinued them, but they still, I think, sell the other one that's made in Germany with this little single hole. But anyway, let me get into the complete review of this one. Now, the other pencil sharpeners did say that they had an eight millimeter hole to a 10 millimeter hole. And I was like, wait a minute, this pencil sharpener here has a bigger opening. The the smaller, even the smaller opening is larger than your standard pencil sharpener, which is an eight millimeter. And then the bigger hole is even bigger, even larger than the uh, bigger holes on other pencil sharpeners, which are usually only, well, this one probably is an 11 because that looks pretty big. Let's look at this one. Oh, wow. I've never looked at the inside. No wonder this can do what it can do. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm learning, guys. I'm seeing the differences of what these sharpeners are all about. Okay, we'll get to that later. I mean, this is this is really blowing my mind. Oh my goodness. I'm just, okay. <laughs> focus, focus, Nisi, focus. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I'm seeing why this one is so amazing. Okay. All right. So let me look in this one. Hold on. Universal. Okay. That one looks, okay. I'm not, okay. I'm examining. I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, guys. Okay focus. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So the pencil sharpener, the Statler pencil sharpener, what are we doing? Okay. First and foremost, I would like to share with you this small hole can actually fit a Derwent pencil. Now that is something that is kind of unusual for most pencil sharpeners. I'm going to sit this one aside and we're going to start playing with this. Okay, so let's take my, so first, before I, before I get into the real review review of this, I'm going to show you all my pencil sharpeners and then we're going to get into some comparing and co some contrast contrasting. Yes, contrasting. <laughs> we're going to get into, you know, the depths of them. Okay, so I'm going to start with my favorite ones. Uh, let's see. The Tagal is my favorite pencil sharpener for my Prismas or was my favorite pencil sharpener for my Prismas. And then I'll get into the pros and cons, or should that be another video? You know what? Let's just stick with what's at hand. And that is the review for this one. And I will give you all my other pencil sharpeners in another video and the pros and the cons of that. How about that? We want to kind of stay on track because I will divert to Japan or China somewhere and have you guys completely lost. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I want to stay focused. Okay. So I'm just going to just grab a pencil sharpener and just show you the difference. Okay. So we have one of my favorites here, which is the Beauty K pencil sharpener made in Germany. Very nice blade, but I didn't know what I was missing until I got this one. But okay, let's see. The Derwent pencil will not fit in this one. It won't fit at all. It's just, it's, this hole is too small. It's too small. So the Derwent pencil says no to fitting in this one. Okay. And let's see if I even turn it, try to turn it and sharpen it. Nothing. It doesn't fit. So that's a no. 
But then if I try to fit it in this one, it fits perfectly because this is a 8.2 millimeter pencil hole instead of just the regular eight. Look at that point. Oh my goodness, guys. Woo. Yes. Okay. So what I wanted to share with you guys for the most part is that this pencil sharpener sharpens, number one, it fits the Derwent. And let's see, the Faber-Castell Polychromos. Let me find one of those. They're a pretty thick pencil also. So here you have it. Is that a good one to show you? Well, we'll let's see, is that lead? No, that lead isn't showing up as well. It's not showing up well enough for you. Let me find another one. Maybe this black one here. Yeah, that'll show up pretty good. Okay, so. Yeah, the, the polychromos aren't as large as the Derwent, but they fit in here pretty good. So let's give it two little turns, okay? Maybe three. Oh, yes. Look at that point. It's almost like a super point that it gives. Okay, now, what impresses me absolutely the most is not only this pencil sharpener can fit the Derwent, but it actually does an amazing job on your Prisma colors without breakage. Okay, guys, you see how tiny this little pencil is? This is one of the pencils that I could not sharpen it without it crumbling and breaking. This pencil sharpener was able to sharpen it to this beautiful point without breakage. I, I couldn't believe it. This was another one of my problem pencils. And you see, can you see that? It's split. It's actually exposed. A big split all the way down the middle. And this was another one that just kept breaking. Every time I sharpened it, every time I colored with it, it just broke because it split all the way up. This sharpener, sharpened this baby up. I was just amazed. I was amazed and happy and like, oh my goodness, I think I found life. <laughs> so guys, I am going to get, I just, I, I thought it was maybe a fluke. So I just kept getting more and more pencil sharp pencils, Prisma pencils to see, okay, maybe it's just doing a great job on these two. This was another one that kept breaking and it, look at that point. Amazing, right? So I'm going to sharpen one with you guys. Let's see if I can find one that I have. Oh, I have a problem with this one. You see how, let me put this one back. Well, I'll keep that one out, but you see how this one, this is another one that would crumble. You see how the, the tip is like jagged on that side this is another one that would just crumble up okay so what we're going to do is we're going to use the smaller hole two turns i'm going to sharpen this until that see it broke off because it was already jagged but we're going to see if we can get this to sharpen uh-oh wait a minute uh oh, that's what's wrong. The lid is stuck in there. Oh no. Okay, let me get that lid out. That's why it keeps breaking on me. <sighs> I was about to say, don't shame me in front of everyone. <laughs> I'm giving you a good review and you're acting crazy with me. Okay, there we go. Now we got it out. Now let's see if... <laughs> If things are going to go better. Okay. Let's put that back. All right. Pencil sharpener. Don't let me down. Okay. Nope. That one's not going to work. It is just this one is I'm going to sharpen it to death. Okay. This is where. I think this pencil sharpener is amazing because I'm getting ready to show you something else. When you have a pencil like this that 
that sharp point. Prismacolors, in my opinion, are not really made to have that sharp point. They come with that short, very kind of stumpy point for a reason because it's not good for their lids to be, you know, fully exposed because they're so super soft. Okay, so this other side is a large hole, a pencil sharpener opening, but it sharpens the Prismacolors very well to that kind of short uh, consistency or that short, so just a little bit of the wood would be exposed and just a little bit of the lid. So if you, and if you look inside here, the hole that's at the bottom is much smaller than this opening, this hole. That's why I can't put this Prisma in here and do anything with it. But let's see, if I put it straight up and down in here and turn it, yep, that's, we're getting what I want. It actually holds the pencil steady. Okay, we're getting somewhere, guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This works just as good as the Tagal to me. So I'm going to see if I can get, yep. Yes, guys, look at that. I will see how it's the lead is short and the wood case, the wood part that's exposed is short. So this is perfect. That's that lead that was trapped in there. There we go. This is perfect for your Prismacolor pencils or um, Hero pencils or Fila pencils that keep breaking that don't need a lot of lead exposed. So this large area, actually, you put the pencil down in here and it actually secures the pencil in there. So you can use the large hole too. You can make either one of these points. You can make the short point or you can make the longer point with this pencil sharpener. So let me sharpen one more pencil with this larger opening because let's say I want that shorter point with this Prismacolor. So what you wanna do is you wanna sit it in there and you kind of, you don't wanna push it in like with too much pressure, but you wanna just push it in straight and just turn. Oh my goodness, look at that point. I absolutely love it. You have that short, beautiful point that's ideal for your Prismacolor pencils. So there you there you have it, guys. What do you think? Comment down below if you have ever seen this pencil sharpener in the store. Um, I will put the Amazon link below. It, it is on Amazon, but it's in a different color. It's in blue instead of black. I'm almost certain that it's the exact same one because it has the same packaging and it has the same, you know, um, it says the same thing like 8.2 through 11 millimeters. So I'm sure it's the same one, just a different color. But if you have ever heard of this, I didn't see any reviews for this specific one on YouTube. I was looking everywhere because I wasn't gonna really make this video if there were reviews on it, but there was nothing. There was one on uh, a couple of the other ones, but not this one. So guys, tell me what you think. What do you think about this? Let me bring it up again. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Don't you love it? I absolutely love it. And oh, let me do a longer point before I go. I'm gonna do a longer point on the Prisma color. Let me find a dull pencil. And this is one that I use a lot. So let's do a longer point on this one. Here we have it. Look at that point. So guys, I'm so excited about this pencil sharpener. It's actually the best one I have yet. So there's your review of the Stedler Metal Sharpener with the double hole. And oh, wait, a couple more things I want to share with you guys. First of all, it's a metal sharpener because the casing is metal, okay? 
the casing is not plastic. It's actually metal. So the blades are sharp, the casing is metal, and that aids to better sharpening. It sharpens your pencils better because the casing is metal. It's metal here. Unlike this pencil sharpener, which is a cheapie, even unlike this pencil sharpener, which I really liked at first, it's, you know, the casing is plastic. Even the Tagal, the casing is plastic. So when like the m &R sharpener says that it has a magnesium casing or metal casing or brass casing, that actually lends towards a better pencil sharpener being more durable and sharpening better. It's not just about the blades. It's also about the casing that it's in. And let me just quickly say one little thing about the Faber-Castell pencil sharpener. One thing that makes it not so great, I believe, is that the casing is plastic. You know, it has a metal blade. So I'm gonna show you one more test on how, now this pencil sharpener eats up pencils. I mean, absolutely eats it up. And the Derwent does not fit in the regular hole. Does it fit in the color grip? Nope. Oop, doesn't fit in the color grip area. It would only fit, it wouldn't fit in either one of those. So can't use the Derwent. I'm going to use this Caran student one. I'm going to go in this universal one and I'm going to sharpen. Mm, this pencil sharpener eats up pencils like crazy. Oh, look at that. That's not good. Look how it kind of eats up your pencil. Can you see that? It's kind of jagged here. Let me get you a little closer. There you go. And it's just, it does not do a good job on the pencils. Let's see if we can do, I better stop that. <laughs> I'm not gonna have any pencils, but I believe because this casing is plastic, and that the blades aren't very sharp. They are, the blades are made in Germany, but this is not a review for this Faber-Castell one. This is a review for this Statler one. It's amazing, guys. So if you need a pencil sharpener and you can find this one and you like what you see, I'm gonna post, put the link down below and you can get it if you'd like, but if you have you a wonderful m &R sharpener, because I honestly believe on Amazon, these and the m &R sharpeners are about the same price. I pay a fraction of the price because I found it at an outlet bargain store, but I saw it on Amazon. I think it was like $7 and something for one. And that's about, a m and sharpener is about eight bucks. So I'm like, this must be a really good sharpener to be like right up there with the M&R sharpeners. But, but can the M&R sharpener fit your Derwent pencils? Is that hole big enough? Or can your M&R sharpener, I know they make amazing points, like kind of like this point here, but can it make this point too? <laughs> so I would say if I'm gonna pay almost the same amount of money or a dollar less, I might have to go with this one because it has versatility to it. Just saying. And if I ever need to replace this blade, I would place, replace the blade with an m and sharpener blade. I would get those replacement blades and be like, yes, because I did some research and what really matters in your sharpener, what makes the long point, the short points is this slope that's inside your sharpener. That's what kind of determines if you're gonna have a long, narrow point, if your wood casing is gonna be um, exposed more, if your leads are gonna be exposed more. It's all about that inside, how that slope goes, and it's all about that blade, and it's all about the casing. So that's it, guys. <laughs> what do you think? Comment below if you think that this pencil sharpener is amazing. Plus it has a container. I'm like, so sometimes I get so irritated with having to put, having to put my shavings in a little bowl. But this, I just can use it just like this. So 
What do you think about this sharpener, guys? Comment below what type of pencil sharpener you have. What's your favorite pencil sharpener? And if you have this one, let me know. So guys, thanks so much for tuning into this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this information and you found it helpful and beneficial. And thank you so much for tuning in and happy coloring, guys.